with your colleen so today i'll be showing you how to make your apps transparent to match with your background so first you want to make sure you have the apps pix art and eraser and this is the first method i'm going to show you guys but there's a way easier method i'm going to show later on so you just want to have these two apps downloaded and then you want to hold on your home screen swipe to the last page and screenshot it because you're going to need this when we get the app icons so then you want to go to the link in the description box and then click choose file and you're gonna click the picture that you just screenshotted of your home screen that is why we needed it and upload that picture and it's gonna take a while to load just click send and it's gonna load once that happens you want to select the boxes that you want to use for your apps but you can only choose up to three because if you choose more than three you're gonna have to pay premium and we just doing free over here so make sure you just click three but also make sure you click bookmark at the top don't click profile click bookmark once you click add three icons make sure you come here to this page hold on the picture the icon and click add to photos and then use the arrow to go to the next one and repeat repeat the same process over again do not click choose app just save the pictures okay okay once you are done with all that you want to go to your eraser app and this is what you're going to use to erase the background of your icons if you have some that have backgrounds on it so i am using the among us characters i found this on google and i'm just going to erase the white background so click erase and then click target area and it's going to pick the majority of the color in the picture so for this one it's white so it's gonna erase all the white that is there. And basically that's it. They wanna click the top right corner arrow leaving, and then you just wanna save it as a PNG. So the background is clear. You wanna go to your photos. So I'm just gonna search that up because it's too much work to look for them with this new setup and all. So go to photos and I was gonna show you example of what not to do so you do not want to go in here and you do not want to crop the character because once you do that and you save it you're going to see that it's not transparent anymore so do not do that just follow along and i'll show you how to do it right okay so you want to go to pixart and click the plus button at the bottom of the page then you want to go to your photo you need to click the last saved one i'm going to show you an example because if you put the first picture in your camera roll, that's going to be the wrong picture. So click the third. If that makes sense, I don't know. I'll try and show you guys later. But then you want to go to add photos. Then I'm going to select the picture of the icons with the transparent background. Then I'm going to go to eraser at the top of the screen. And I'm going to erase every other character except the one i want so if you catch my drift i'm just erasing it so instead of cropping it we're just erasing it and making it easier and then you just want to resize the picture and make sure it fits your icon and then you're going to click apply at the top right hand corner and you're going to click that button with the arrow going down at the top screen to save it and don't save draft if it asks you just click the back arrow and what you want to do is just continue the process and do the same thing all over again. Add the photo, take the icons, add it, click the eraser, erase whatever you don't want, apply, save, and that's it. And do that to the rest of your apps, basically. Now you want to go to shortcuts, so you can just search that up once again. Once you get to shortcuts, you want to click the plus button in the top right corner and you want to add a new shortcut click add action click scripting the black icon with the x in the middle and click open app then click choose then choose the app you want to do this to i'm just going to pick any random app then you want to click the three dots name it and then click add to home screen then name it again the one that you just named right now is going to be the one that shows on your home screen. Then click the icon next to it and click choose photo and choose the first photo. Do not pick any other photo 
other than the first exact photo or not or else it's not going to match up to the picture then click done then done again and then you want to just keep repeating the same exact process for whatever app you want to do and you can just search up open app instead of clicking scripting if you're gonna have trouble i don't know just an alternative way and do that until you finish all your apps and then we're gonna put it on our home screen to match it up when you're finished with all of that you want to hold on the app click edit home screen and bring all the icons to your last page or whatever page you're bringing it to so since i'm starting off on a new page i'm matching them up in the exact order that the pictures must be in not the other way around so they match up and now look how cute that look but when you move it you can tell but when it's just there don't it look cute like and then when you click on apps it goes to shortcuts first than the actual app but i have another video showing how to fix that if you don't want it to go to shortcuts at all i'll put it in the icon above so you can click on it and watch it or you can just check the description box on my ios 14 playlist which it will be in so on to the next method which is way easier in my opinion so just keep watching so if you're still here thanks for continue to watch and i accidentally didn't record when i was making all these icons so i'm gonna redo it and show you guys again so you just want to hold on your home screen swipe here pick up a screenshot and then go to the link in the description box upload once that finally loads, choose a file, photo library, and you want to pick the picture that we just screenshotted and click choose and we'll send and wait for that to load. And once that loads, you're going to choose bookmark up here. Do not click profile, okay? And you're just going to choose which icons you want. You want me to choose other three. Like I said before, because if you choose more, you're going to have to pay money. And we don't do that over here. We do things for free. And you see, I already did my home screen, the first three rows. So I'm going to just choose the next three icons in the next row. Click Add Icons. And hold on this. Scroll down. Add the photos. Then click the arrow. And repeat the process. This is the same exact method in a way as the previous one I just showed, but the saving process is much easier. Go to PixArt. You don't need the eraser app in this method. So, PixArt. And I'm going to explain what I was saying before. Make sure you do not click the first exact photo in your camera roll. So do not click this photo. Click this photo because it saves it backwards, okay? So click this photo. Then you want to go here where it says sticker. And then you're just going to search up something that is PNG or something like that, you know? So who should we do today? I am going to do Janae. Just have a picture up here. A picture of her right here and I'm just gonna size that fix it click apply in the top corner then click this right here and save it then click the back button right there and don't save now we're gonna click the next photo right here right okay there we go this is just to help you guys stay on task because you can easily mix them up. So just make sure you're just going backwards. You know I did not search that. Why are you guys keep correcting me? Like, I know what I'm saying. Make sure you find a good one if you're going to use like a PNG or some sort. Don't just take no bad looking one because then it's not going to look cute. And in my opinion, this is an easier one because you don't have to make the PNGs. It's just a sticker that you search up. So, it's way easier. Bad girl, maybe. I don't want a picture like this one right here that has the cut off of her arm. It looks weird. But this would be a nice picture. So, now you know what to expect. I find out this is pretty choppy, but like the erasing, but I'm going to take it. Now, we are going to shortcuts. I'm going to do the same exact I'm just going to pick the eraser app, three dots. You 
just want to click the first picture that you saved, which for me was Janae. So click on that. Choose. Add. Done. And done. And repeat the same thing for your apps. Please do not click apps over here. Scripting, then open app. Okay, now that I'm all done, these are all my icons. I'm just going to hold on it and edit home screen. I'm going to drag them here in order. Do not take them out of order or it ain't going to look right. Okay, so once you stop the toggling, this is what it's going to look like. And you can see it's transparent. But when it moves, you can see the background. Like I mentioned before, but don't this look so cute? Like you can see yourself or you can see whatever your background is and then the icon. That's all for today's video, guys. I'm going to be posting a video on how to make transparent app icons if you guys want it because people need it. And the regular icons like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those kinds, not these. But if you want celebrity cutouts, you can DM me at legit Colleen on Instagram. And for a small fee, I can do like up to 10 pictures for you or how many pictures you need of your favorite celebrity or whatever. Just have a small fee. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, like, comment. And if this is too difficult, please comment. I will help you out. You can always DM me on my Instagram. I will help you out. And stay safe and I love you all. Bye. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.